Hello there and welcome back to Vanilla Hoi Forum, which we're playing as the beautiful Greece nation, also known as the Hellenic Republic currently. Right now we may be democratic, but we will soon be of the KKE of the Communist Party of Greece. But now we must choose our next focus. We can do fiscal responsibility, which seems pretty good. We can increase our mining operations or expand our tobacco industry. We can ignite liquefaction. Liquefaction and extracting more from our soil, which would be a great thing to even do our armed forces. But I'm thinking right now it might be best to go down this way. We get a political advisor, which gives us more stability, or not stability, but political power and daily communism support. Not bad. Now, I did ask you guys yesterday whether we should prepare for the great anti fascist war or tow the soil on this line, which we will get to in a little bit. Yeah, I mean, this stuff seems okay. It really is just okay. It doesn't do that much for us. And this one. We can become communists much more quickly, but let's go ahead and do fiscal responsibility. We finally reached the state of financial equilibrium for perhaps the first time in modern Greek history. There's no doubt that this is an, an event truly worth a celebration. We should applaud ourselves for our masterful statecraft, and we deserve it. Now, we might be de democratic for now. We're losing some fuel because I'm training some subs. But we got to read this one, the bedrock of Balkan financial stability. We will receive off-map civilian, off civilian workshop factories or workshops for every country in the Western Balkans, Eastern Balkans, and the Northern Balkans that is a high, friendly opinion of us. This applies also to Austria, Czechoslovakia, and Turkey. So basically, we're going to do this one next, and as soon as we can start it, we're going to increase relations with everyone north as well as east of us. So we can maybe get even more civilian factors, because I don't know how this is going to end up. We're going to use the political power we get from this and improve relations, because even though this gives us more political power, I really want to see if we can get a bunch more civilian factories, because I've not tried that before. Because we only have three right now, which isn't good. Oh, we can repay our debts to the Italians next. Because we're done with the British, because we've already paid off our debts to them. Host Soviet bureaucrats in the Hellenic Republic. We did that yesterday. It gave us some stability, which was okay, but really didn't do much for us. And recommission the American battleships. The battleships... Kilikis and Lemnos have been felt in a bit of a sorry state since the Greco-Turkish War, but with some patience and determination, we can get them seaworthy once again. Oh, that's quite interesting, but it's 37. Keep that in mind. Do we, could, we don't have to use actually any extraction, maybe except for some fuel, but we don't even have fuel, so that's okay. We could get more oil. Mm, 37, 38. How, the Navy, we are probably focusing on subs. Subs are not bad to use. Eventually, we might choose cruisers, but... We'll see what happens. Let's grab some of this. Support weapons one. More defense, I think so. Right now, like we're making some civilian factories. We need way more guns. We need some support equipment. Artillery is not looking bad, actually, as we get more army XP every single day. Yes, we do. Actually, with you guys, I might just go ahead and do this. Because it saves on guns a little bit more, and it saves on artillery a little bit more. Not bad. And does give us an excuse to train these guys. So. Not bad at all. Mountaineers, good. We're definitely going to need Mountaineers. Entrenchment speed might be really good to do as well, because my goal is basically make Fortress Greece. Eventually, once the evil, evil, non-communist attack. We'll put it like that. 37. Ooh, field hospitals would be nice, which we're making. Artillery needs to be updated as fast as possible. And we're doing Grand Battle Plan, which I normally don't do. Let's see. Planes are nice. Probably can't make any. We don't have the industry for it. Radar might be good to do make, though. Good to do make. We'll see what happens. And now let's do the bedrock of Balkan financial stability. Who would ever thought that Greece, of all countries, would be the first in the Balkans to well and truly get their financial situation in order? Our regional prestige has gone through the roof, and we should absolutely exploit our new position as the bankers of Southern Europe to, to even further enrich our country. We get political power. So, who's got a good opinion of us? We're still democratic. Ooh, different ideology, incongruous neighbors. Does anyone have a good opinion of us? Uh, Czechoslovakia does, a little bit, actually. And this includes Austria, Czechoslovakia, and Turkey. So, let's see. Austria is not super far away from us. We're going to do that. We're going to do this as well. We even do it to the Hungarians. We want everyone to love us as much as possible. It's going to cost us a lot of political power. But that's okay. Oh, wow. Who are you to buy? Kakmak? Kakemak? Which way did they go? 
And now we're currently losing almost two a day. Holy cow. But that's okay. Mm, oh, they're doing... Okay. Air Force stuff. Well, good, good, to, good for them. Honestly, we don't really... I mean, yeah, political power is important and all. But we can't really do much with it currently. A Marxist priest, which we'll get eventually. We don't need it right now. Obviously, Marcos would get slightly more political power. Or, uh, I should say, population. Is good. This guy would be good as well. Emmanuel... Sudaros would be good. A resolute Democrat, but we don't really need more democracy support for now, so that's okay with me. Hey, 43 naval XP, not bad. Even though these subs, not really that ideal. No, don't even make that one. There you go. There you go. Good enough. We're going to have to upgrade these guys to. Ooh, another submarino. Why not? Actually, for all you guys, can we just, like, upgrade you all? Might as well. 13 days, that's not bad. Oh, there's some level 1 subs here, huh? Cool. And then you guys. It's fine, doesn't matter to me. The Bulgarian government condemns the IMRO. Very nice. Good job, guys. Good luck with that. Go to Hospital 1s. And it is 1938. Happy New Year, my friends. January 7th. Let's just hope, hopefully hope that we can get through this focus as fast as possible. And, of course, raise up our relations, which are looking not too bad now. It costs us quite a bit, but that's okay. Supplementary budget. Cool. 36. Not great, but eight. Not bad. 85. The Turks kind of like us. So the, as well as the Austrians and the Czechs. Yeah. They all kind of like us a little bit. I mean... They better, because we're paying off a lot of money. Now, we could pay off more debt, but we'll probably after this maybe focus a little bit more on the French stuff. But first, I definitely, definitely, definitely... Oh, look, the debt to the IFC has gone down even more, which is good. I want to get rid of foreign monopolies as fast as possible. So that's what I'm trying to do with this stuff. Because after we do the bedrock of bulk of financial stability, we're going to go do crackdown on foreign monopolies, which would be good. Oh, well, actually, oh, God, it's going to take even longer to get down there, isn't it? Oof. Come on. And we have 16 factories. Now we have how much? Well, mm, every off map factory for that. So get down here. What we have to do is basically do one of these two, and then one of these two. I like going apart from mobilization. Encourage tourism sounds good, but we'll be at war eventually. Rejuvenate Athens, making use of our islands, or clear the slums. So I do want to get down here to renegotiate re our debt. So we'll go. One, two, three, four. Down here is one, two, three, four. Thirty-five, seventy-seven. Oh, actually, that's thirty-five, thirty-five, seventy, thirty-five. This is seventy, 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 thirty-five. You know, I might just pay my debt off with the French. Maybe. Because we're not going to go with the Germans, obviously. I don't know. Trade manufactured ship parts might be good to do with the Brits. The French, we might just pay off the debt, because what else am I going to do with political power? So, that's going to do... Well, we went with forcing farmers into factories. In my mind, we're really trying to improve our industry here, so let's increase our mining operations. Expanding our tobacco production might integrate us, ingratiate us better with an internal, international community. But is it... Is it but it is expanding our heavy mining industry that has more utility to the state. Minerals and ores will win the war, not tobacco and olive oil. We'll get better consumer goods, get three factories, and two excavation technologies versus this stuff, which gives you minus 5% consumer goods, which is the same thing. You get four civilian factories, which is not bad. We do get more military factories with this one. And it's only 35 days, though. So. Poland 6 Baltic cooperation. Going to partial mobilization eventually was nice. And A, we already have good relations with pretty much everyone around here. Nice. Wow. This is a little different. Cool. Ooh, minus 7%. Ooh, that's not bad. Crackdown and Foreman Office. I definitely like that one. Mm hmm. Medium aircraft. Fighters would be good. I'm not sure how much we're actually going to be able to do that. Escort fleets, screens, carriers, capital ship screens. Eh. Hmm. Can I get stability? Oh, you know what? At this point, I might just say just pay off the debt to the French. So, this one says, move small debt payments. Ah, we've tried small debt payments throughout this thing so far. Let's just do large debt repayments then. And we're also going to 
improve working condition so we can get some more stability. Nice. Let's grab some support weapons too. That'd be very good. At the same time, we're going to go ahead and grab Guerrilla Warfare. I definitely want that guy. Marxist Academic? That's only 5% of our political power. Consumer... Uh, uh, this guy would be probably pretty good. Let's grab you first. Because it doesn't really help us that much, but it can. It can, actually, because we have 63% of our number of civilian military factories to produce consumer goods. Nice. Awesome. Now, I, I think tourism here is pretty cool. You get stability, consumer goods, even more stability, and then more political power. But eventually we will be going to war, and like I said, we're going to be in war for a long time, and we're going to end up basically becoming Fortress Greece. So I don't think tourism is really the way we want to go. So let's mobilize the economy. The great powers of Europe are arriving up their war engines, and we cannot risk being caught and prepared. The process will be painful for Greece, more painful than it would be for most countries. But for the sake of our survival, we must make sacrifices, which we get consumer goods. We get some war support, which is a little more difficult to come by for now. And we get a partial mobilization, which I think is overall probably a little bit better for now. Just because we want to lower constru construction, or the amount of construction we can make sure will go up. We get to produce factories like 40% faster. If you're the military factories, 30% faster for civilian factories. We get more fuel gain. We get to use more factories. So overall, I think that's pretty good for us. And we also, we're mobilizing more because we have red militias. Very nice. And eventually we will pay off more of the debt just because we might as well. I'm tired of doing this stuff. So we might as well just do the British dockyard stuff. Hmm. And I do want to host Soviet bureaucrats in the Hellenic Republic too. That'd be kind of cool. Is, are we done paying the debt? We paid a large payment to the, the French, but is that it? Foreign monopolies, of course. Debt to the IFC? Why did it go away? What the heck? Um... Obviously, we're not making more subs right now because we're trying to update our old subs so that, so that they're somewhat competent. But let's grab some more decimetric radar so we get some more uh, radar on our ships. Mobilize economy. Now, we can rejuvenate Athens. We get three factories in total. If you want to read about it, go right ahead. We could also do making use of our islands, which we get a bonus to controlling Cyprus. Is that a name? What's Cyprus? I've heard of Cyprus, but not Cyprus. And the Dodecanese Islands. That's nice, but... I think we're going to clear the sums just because you get more building slots, which I like. Because you can build whatever you want there. And you get 67, almost 67,000 manpower. Now, the manpower is going to go bye-bye really quickly. But I like the building slots, so I think clearing the slums for a more communist nation as much... I think this would be best. I mean, yeah, it would be nice to rejuvenate Athens and build statues to great communist leaders. Making use of our islands sounds great and all, but clearing the slums, helping the people out, I think that's the way we want to go. Greek refugees have been dodging conscription and taking a valuable space by creating and settling in foul slums and shanty towns. Their existence shames the country, as do the occupants, by shirking their duties to the nation. We shall empty these slums and put the lands and the people to better use. And eventually, I wanted to get down to the Academy of Athens, so. Because, hey, five research slots as Greece? Not bad. Let's see, how are we doing militarily? Well, we're doing better on guns as well as artillery. Now, we could really be using a little bit more support equipment. So, what we're going to do is... I do want to use anti-air as well. I'm going to put you actually on top. And we're going to go lower this to three. Because I want to make some anti-air. I want to use anti-air divisions. Because it's going to be a very painful way forward. Probably for everyone. The way we're headed. So, tanks are nice. We can't afford those. It's a little bit ahead of time. But it does give you more anti-air. Which is very nice. We're doing that. That's good. Ships. Just... It's just best to probably not do them for now. Naval Doctrine. T trade Interdiction would probably be best. Working the War Machine. K planes. Planes. Not bad either. Oh, I didn't do this yet. What the heck? Mr. Mocha Lover. I have not done Computing Machine. It's already halfway through the year and I've not done that. Oh, what a shame. What a sin. Small that would be... Oh, there we go. It's back. So we're almost done with this. Nice. And we're getting more stability, which is also very nice. Anti-air plus three, nice. Very good, very good. We have some mountaineers, which they need artillery on them. Go ahead and do that, that's fine. Make your guys even stronger. Because we have one cavalry division. I thought we had more than one, but whatever. They can be the guy that kind of moves around to help out and defend areas just in case, like, parts of the line are becoming more and more weak. Uh, 40%. Hey, 14 out of 15. That's so much better than what we had earlier. We had like 2 out of 15. That's not bad. 
Wowzers. Wowzers and Bowsers. We got quite a few resources around here too, which is pretty good. Now, I'm not sure if we can get any more things that improve our infrastructure where we're at. They get... See, oh, wait. Rural Exodus. Lose political power. Oh. You build things faster too, which is not bad. And you get even more building slots. Not bad. Not bad. Anti-fascist war. Dominate the Bulgarians. Attack the fascists. Ally Tito. Secure the Aegean. Eh. Till the stall in this line. Not bad. Not bad. Let's go ahead and grab some Grand Assault. A Grand Arme. Or Assault. Either one. Partial mobilization. Yes. Next up. How much are we getting every day? Because I don't mind doing Resolute Democrat. Because it does give you more stability. But meh. I think next what we will choose. National Socialist. Probably not. Guerrilla Warfare. I want to go Guerrilla Warfare and this guy. Because that guy's okay. Marxist Academic. This doesn't really help you. 5% more political power is like nothing. I, we'll do Guerrilla Warfare Expert as well as this guy. Do we have any occupied territories? No, we do not. Marxist Priest would be good. Yeah. Nice. And crack down on foreign monopolies. For far too long, we've tolerated the foreign money lenders and global financial monopolies. Well, no more. We will not be pushed around by these insidious entities any longer because from this day forward, Greece shall be well and truly free. Stability, and we remove this heinous, heinous national spirit. We get 5% more consumer goods. Uh, we lose the trade deal opinion factor. We get better economy laws as well as trade laws, so... Not bad. Support weapons too. Good. It's July 6th. What do we want next? Actually, is there anything that gives me more torpedo attack? Battleship heavy stuff. Battleship cruiser. Not there. No. You take less critical hits. You know what? We might consider doing this right now. Just because it could give us more attack with subs. You know what? Since we are using subs, we might as well try it, right? Because we have some ships here. And they're okay. They're not really... <laughs> That's a heavy cruiser. That really kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. Operating the GNC. Cool. You know what? Since we're here, we must well host the Soviet bureaucrats in the Hellenic Republic. It happens again. They'll probably reject us. But we'll see what happens. Since we don't need the guy to help down, put down resistance in places, we don't need garrisons right now, so... Come on, Soviets, come on. We got better radar. That's nice. Let's see. That's a case extraction-wise. I mean, we're doing pretty darn well, I'd say. Greece is rich with resources. Fuel refining. Let's grab that just because when we get to war, we might not have enough time to get enough fuel. Because we, we will have at least, like, one refinery here or something. That's a case... We want to get more military factories after this. So, Peloponnese, probably. And we will need to make forts. I might even make anti-air. I've heard that people some sometimes use it. And it can be pretty good. So. Cracking down for monopolies. Great. And an Academy of Athens. The Academy of Athens was established in 1929 as an institute of higher learning. But it is still young and requires help to grow. With their intervention, we shall make it a linchpin for all aspiring academics in Europe and beyond. And maybe after this, we will begin focusing on our military uh, abilities. Attica, yes, that would be good to make that there. And then, actually, you might want to put up roads first, because that's a lot of resources. There's so many resources in Epirus and Attica. Even over here, you got some Chromium. That's not bad. We're probably going to lose Creed eventually, because fascists are fascists, and they like taking stuff. And, of course, we read this last time. They did not invest this time. At least we got some stability, I guess. You know. And let's repay off our debt, and we should have no de more debt to anyone. Beautiful. Even though we actually have... Maybe we should focus a little bit more on the communist support, because... We're already at 50%. Or almost 50%. Not bad, 15-1. Make some more military factories, put them on for support equipment. And then maybe some more fighters and stuff like that. We might even make some dockyards, because... This stuff is looking okay. Not great. But... I'd rather have good, use a small but really relatively okay-ish submarine force then a lot of subs that are really not nearly as good hungry joins the axis i think this is on historical right i think it is i can't remember yeah it's 38 yeah this is the way it looks like it, oh maybe not no this is on hey historical right is it did i put on eight i can't remember my mind is gone bye bye yeah this is definitely not historical because you don't you i don't think you normally lead
We got two. We got the democracy group here. That's very communist. Versus the communist group here. The Spanish commune in Spain. This is weird. <laughs> this is very weird. Wait, which way are they going? We're not really sure. Okay, whatever. Alright, we're going to ask them again if they want to do it. But I'm going to improve my relations with them first. Oh, yeah, that's probably why. We don't have really good relations. Let's see if this helps it out, though. That's pretty good. You get plus three relations every day. Not bad. And a fifth. That's a lot. Now, I think it's time for us to finally go ahead and do more communist stuff, but let's get agricultural communes. It only takes 35 days. The world is industrialized around us, and it's high time we caught up. But many more people know nothing about out outside, a life outside agricultural work, and we cannot do away with the roots so easily. We should organize the agrarian sector into an efficient commune, freeing up talent for other fields such as manufacturing or military labor. More stability. More recruitable population factor. We lose political power, but we get more construction speed, a whole bunch of stuff, especially military, civilian factory stuff. Not bad. Oh, we want to use this immediately because it's almost 39. Let's go and use you on more naval stuff. We'll do trade interdiction since we are using subs. More organization would be very good. So we're improving our relations with these guys. And soon, actually, we should be able to get 5% more consumer goods factories and plus 10% more stability. At least that's the idea. Alright, so I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to put another general here just because... Oh, he's a loyalist, huh? He's not going to like what we're going to do. He's a loyalist and a fascist sympathizer. Marcos. There you go. Just because you never know where they're going to be attacking from. We have one big old front line here. And then we're going to need some guys just doing just general, like, garrison stuff. There you go. And I actually will use a normal army for this. I usually use, like, simple garrison stuff, but... Let's go ahead and do host Soviet bureaucrats in the Hellenic Republic. We should have pretty good relations at this point, like at least 10, right? 53. That's close to 10. Relatively. Come on, this is the third time's a charm. Come on. And we got rid of that debuff, too. 15, 7, not bad. Hey, another, another person here. Nice. Here we are. We're probably going to lose Crete, which sucks. But they have nothing over there except manpower for us. And over here, we lose some chromium. The Munich Agreement, cool. And we lose a dockyard. And some and a little bit of chromium, which doesn't matter. But clearing the land for an industrial expansion. Fields of olives, grapes, tobacco line, the many hills of Greece, as do a great number of churches. Relics of the Byzantine Empire. We have no need for all of the former. And there's no place in New Greece for the latter. Let us take this appropriated land and put it to use by erecting factories for the workers. For the workers. And only for the workers. Competing machine, man, they take a long time to reply to us. They must be sending us a very long, long-worded reply. Great war tanks. You know what? Let's grab this. Firefighter drills? No, let's not grab that. There's something really quick to resource efficiency again. We can do that one. Let's try that one. Just because we're going to need it to do that later on, anyways. And I want to make sure that we have, we can get back to researching stuff from 1939, like guns, artillery, output. As quickly as possible. So nice. Real Exodus. Oh, oh, that's what's hurting us. Oh, wow. 0. 0.44 a day. Good lord, that is not pretty good. But hey, we can make make some stuff really quickly, especially civilian factories, which we're gonna emphasize right now first. 40%. Good, right there. There you go. Miles use it. And you know what? They finally invested. Look, we have just finished welcoming the Soviet investors back into our country after the last little short visit, and they bring good tidings of investment and opportunity. They also bring with them uninvited observers who we quickly lost track of as they went about doing whatever it was they were sent to here to do. Regardless, with Soviet help, we shall build a truly modern economy and deal with the devil's preferable to death. Hey, we actually got two military factories. That's not bad. We can actually really use those. Plenty of guns for now. Anti air is not looking bad. Still any more of this. Still any more fighters. That's okay, though. Not bad. That was better than what I thought we would get. So we have 126 anti-air and 206 artillery. I want to save manpower, but we don't have enough artillery for this just yet. I want to save manpower with this. And we will have enough if we do it like that. Not bad. I'll oh, grab some chaos balls too. There you go. And cavalry. We probably won't have enough support coming for that. Yeah, we really won't. Hmm. Yeah, go do it anyways. Because we need it. And not, we don't have that many divisions that use it, but it'll be it'll be worth it. Hopefully. We'll see what happens. 
We're really making our guys as strong as possible. Woo. But everyone, happy 1939. It's a new year, new us. And hopefully we can invest in, with the Soviet Union some more, even though they might take us over eventually. We can place our sovereignty in peril. Our survey of the Hellenic Republic. Hopefully next time they give us some civilian factories, because I would like that quite a bit. Regardless, we can dispose of reactionaries. We've tolerated this coalition with the Venzelists for far too long. Their liberal agenda is anathema to our Marxist creed, and it's time to finally put an end to this farcical relationship. For the revolution. Cool. And which we'll do that as soon as we get some more stuff. And which we will first do some more Disperse Industry 3. Beautiful. And we actually have a week left for that. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. <sighs> Dispose reactionaries. And I will let you know which, which path we're going to go down with these ones. Because there was overwhelming support for one side. At least at the time of this recording. Clearing the land. Beautiful. V available as political advisor. That guy that gives us more war support and political power. Or communism. Not war support, but political power. And get 50% more... Economy support at this point doesn't matter, but whatever. And we need more war support too. Hmm. Oh, look at this. Rhine metal. Eventually, this goes all away. That's complete focus appeal to the Soviet Union, huh? I would like to do this. Or this. Most likely, though. Ooh, motorized defense. I would prefer this one to get more attack and get 15% more research speed. But it is 39. Let's grab some construction 3 because we want to build, 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 build. If I can get two lines of 15, that'd be great. We could host them again. How about for tanks? Uh, peace with the UK. Reproachment with Italians. Biamox? Yeah, that's probably the way we're going to go, but we don't obviously don't need that yet. Over here, we definitely got to get the infantry stuff. That'd be good. Guard the ports. Guard the capital. If we don't guard that, we're kind of screwed. How many do we need? Area defense, 13 divisions. That's... Okay-ish. For now. Let's increase by two more. Because we're really going to need them. Alright, so when does this thing go away? 39, August 23rd. Alright. Alright, I can deal with that. I can probably deal with that. Oh, Infrastructure construction speed plus 5%. Industrial research speed. Fuel gain from refineries. That stuff is okay. Meh. Oh yeah, we, oh yeah. We, let's do this one now. We might as well, right? Even minus 7%. Nice. Fuel refining one. Great. Let's grab some better guns. Hotchkiss guns. Nice. Also, since I said we'd, we were running out of things to do with our political power, technically we don't because we can open up the country for investment schemes, so we might want to do that too. We have 15 days left. There's a peace conference between Mexico and Mexico. So look at this. Next one. Uh, we lose political power if we go this way. We get... More war support and infrastructure construction speed. We get more recovery rate, though. And political power, but we lose construction speed. Interesting. But the next one we will do is... Ooh. Hellenic Academy Battle Plans. We'll probably do this one first. So, our country is rich in lignite mines, and we're already aware of the process through which lignite could be turned into fuel. The government should encourage the opening of more lignite, uh, if that's how you pronounce it, Liquefying facilities. We get a synthet synthetic refinery, get a little bit more fuel, get a little bit more rubber, in which we get public petroleum corporation, more research speed and refining concern, fuel gain from refineries. Very nice. Fate Czechoslovakia is gone. Oh, we lost this guy. Because now we're kind of handsome. Well, kind of. Not really that handsome. Maybe not handsome at all. But he's a dude. And we finally became communist. 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 And we changed our flag. Grand assault. Good. Now we can make a choice. Assault, which we talked about last time. Max planning. You get organization. Breakthrough for the entire army. And more max planning. And a little bit more reinforce rate. Or we get more like infantry breakthrough organization. Because mm, that does not apply, I believe, to mo mountaineers, I think? Maybe it does. But I don't think it does. You get some more organization for tanks. You get less supply consumption. And more land at attack. And more organization, as well as more reinforcement and more recon on your recon, which we've already chosen recon for some of our stuff. Infantry offensive? Don't mind if we do. Look at that. Political instability. The monarchists are inconsequential, as well as the republicans and the fascists. Nice. We lost political power, but we got more construction speed. Point eight is okay. Industrializing society. That's still okay. 15, 9, not bad. Keep making stuff, guys. Keep making it. We gotta make Fortress Greece here before too long. Not bad. Not great. Pretty good. 
We're even making a few fighters too. Really rapidly trying to industrialize Greece. And actually, how are these subs going? Oh, we've almost completed all of them. We almost got them all up to snuff. Great. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Now, how World War II will look is... Oh, actually, can we send you volunteers? We need... Oh, we need at least 30 divisions. We can, but we need 30 divisions. We only have, like, 17. No. No. Big set. Anti-democratic raids. Well, we don't need to really do that. The Pinay incident. Wait, so we got rid of all everyone here? Really? Why would we get rid of everyone? But we got rid of the financial expert? Oh, we can't be communist. Corporatist, Prince of Terror, Sharp Tongue Lawyer, Backroom Backstabber, Trade Interdiction is pretty nice though. So we're pretty much forced with this one, that one, or this guy. I might just go with the 5% more political power. It's almost nothing, but if you're going to have to get that eventually, you might as well do it now. Right, right. Let's see, 15 days left. Yeah, nope, this person is Industry 3 is coming up. So after this one, we're going to choose extracting more from our soil. Greece is a country rich in natural resources. We just need to have the determination to unearth them. Technology has given us the way. Now all that is left is to find the way. Which we get a bunch of resources. Especially from the Gene Islands, which we're probably going to lose eventually. And the Peloponnese, which we hopefully won't lose. But that's okay with me. Because I do want to get down to opening up the country. Investment schemes sound like a really good thing for us. Oh, Brazil has gone to war with itself, too. Nice. Second Vienna Award. Does that happen this early? Zog Smiths, of course. Let's get some more cap. Nice. Treaty of Craiova. Of little concern. That looks... Honestly, that, that that is not bad. The second Vienna Award and stuff like that, but... Czechoslovakia is gone. Germany's looking actually really nice. I like the way Hungary looks. I wish I had these as cores for Slovakia, but I guess not. But that looks really not too bad. I like that. I mean, Hungary, I mean, I wish it was in Pocono, and I wish it maybe had, you know, Transylvania. The rest of Transylvania. And maybe even Benat, but whatever. That's a, that's a really nice Germany. Not gonna lie, that's a really nice Germany. Bunch of fascists, but still really nice. 42 factories, not bad. Construction 3, very bueno. Extraction, we could do that. It is 39, like I said repeatedly. Tanks would be cool. That's cool. Entrenchment. Yep. Entrenchment. And we're done upgrading our stuff. We actually... Oh, now we need more resources. Which I'm glad we're extracting more from our soil then. And we should be able to go to war economy. Nice. There we go. So that's what we'll probably do first. We'll probably go to war economy so we can get... Oh, look. The Balkan Diplomatic Initiative. They send us industrial support. I didn't even ask. The UK has informed us that they support our cause and will provide us with a certain measure of industrial aid to strengthen our position against our common enemies. Yeah, I didn't... Okay. Yeah, hey. Yeah, you got any more of that support? We'll gladly take it. Nice. How much is it going to take to put anti-air on these guys? Oh, we need to put field hospitals. How much support equipment do we have? Yeah, we definitely need field... Oh, we don't have enough. Oh, we don't have enough motorized. That's not good. Cool. Yeah, I mean, we could get this, but that's going to be better to do. Yeah, let's definitely get this one next. How much closer are we waiting to get? Oh, we're almost there. Hey, we get double upgrades. Nice. I'm going to grab this anti-air upgrade because we're going to be using that soon. As well as this. Field Hospital 2s. After that, open up the country. It is a sad fact to admit, but we cannot industrialize on our own. Long have we been dependent on the capital and industrial capabilities of nations bigger than our own, and this era is no exception. So let us invite their capital investments into Greece today, because tomorrow we will never need them ever again. Very, very true. Open up the country. So we can take whatever we need from the bourgeois, the bourgeoisie, and have a good time. No longer get rural exodus, Mexico joins the, the, the allies. So we don't get the bonus to producing stuff anymore, but hey, we can still use it. But at least we get more political power now, which is kind of nice. And because now we have 1.3 political power every day, we can quickly do this. Switch to war economy. And now we have 15, 15, no, okay, 15, 12. But at least we get a bonus of producing this a little bit faster, so that's not bad in my book. Because we can really use those factories right now. Especially fighters, support equipment's looking better now. And especially these guys too, do that one, because you need it more. Now we need more rubber. 
which sucks. But we're going to be building up in Epirus as well. Oh, boy. Oh, man. I don't like the way Italy looks at me. They're kind of, like, evil. Hey, Bulgaria is killing itself. Nice. And actually, we have eight guys here doing this. If you all need to train, go right ahead. So we actually have 21 divisions. Not bad. Eventually, we might be able to send some volunteers to some place. And we can go to limited conscription. We're only on volunteer only. And we have less, much... Not bad. I think Bulgaria is turning... Or shaping up to be... If, well, not Bulgaria. Where, well, Bulgaria is. I do have a campaign with Bulgaria. Turkey commits to security in the Balkans. Thank goodness. But... Oh, they do have fascists. Do they? Oh. Oh, Sveno. See, this is why I always... I don't like Sveno. Tsar Boris III is here. Oh, Sveno. Sveno, Sveno, Sveno. I don't know. The Battle for the Bosphorus DLC has been interesting. I like it. I really do like the little, like, regional country packs. But, of course, of course, it could always be better, but it could be worse, I suppose. But it could be better. What is the Reich up to? Not really sure. Hungary, what are you up to? Foreign parachute battalions. You are doing that stuff. And Bulgaria has beat the Republic of Bulgaria. Crush the communists. Well, they probably don't like us that much, then. Bulgarian army, tobacco exports... Opening up the country. After that, we already did our debt with that, so that that's pointless pretty much, right? We might as well do British docking rights then. But before we do that, we're going to do Hellenic Armed Forces. We Our armed forces are decent enough for our current national situation, but we must remain the weakest, but we do remain the weakest of the Balkan Pact members militarily and have been criticized often for the lack of modernization across our armed forces. It's time we got serious about our military situation, especially as our internal situation deteriorates. We will do that as soon as we can, and now we can... Wow, it's already almost 1940. Wow. If that's almost 1940, let's go ahead and grab this. Radar is always nice. Because we will need that. After Engineer 2s, we'll grab some Recon 2s. Because we threw that on our divisions, right? Well, yeah, some of them. Nice. Very good. And we threw them on here already, which is good. Anti-air. I'm going to throw the anti-air on here as well. It lowers our organization by a little bit. And our recovery rate barely goes down. Almost like nothing. We do use more supply, but we do get a little bit more soft attack, a little more hard attack, much better anti-air, a slightly better defense, even more breakthrough and piercing, and more HP, so... As long as we keep working on it, we'll be fine. Poland refuses German ultimatum. It's November 1st, not September 1st, but whatever. We've already read this. If you would like to read it again, go right ahead. It's up to you. Invite entrepreneurs for investment talks. Rebuke British investments. Oh. Host democratic people... Uh, which one likes this more? Because I, I will spend political... Well, hello there, communist France. Coerce Turkey. Wait, what are they doing with Turks? More democratic, and the German Reich has gone to war, so be it. So. Force them to be more democratic. Oh. They could have coerced us, but they coerced Turkey. Yeah, smart decision. Don't mess with the Greeks. Especially commie Greeks. So in the meantime... With these guys becoming more and more communist, because it looks like they are. You know, I'm not sure why they have so much communism support. Women's suffrage. Ooh, where's that? Oh, they are! They're going literally communist. Awesome! Wow. Women's suffrage plus 0.25 political power. If you support women's suffrage, I guess you're a communist. Ooh, celebrate the communes. Force the issue. Nice. It's 39. I. It's not overpowered, but this feels really good having... Like, five research slots? It gives you so many more options. Let's go ahead and invest in the French a little bit more. By invest, I mean, like, improve relations. And then we will go to Paris and negotiate trade investments. An audience with the right people in Paris, where we can show off the vast potential for people in the manufacturing sector. Could yield considerable gains for our nation. Prerequisites before January 1st, 42. Huh. More propaganda against the Reich would probably be a good idea as well. Oh, man, that is sad. Look at Poland. They're getting bushwhacked by the Romanians, it looks like. Hungarians and the Poles. Oh, yeah, they definitely are. Oh, they even have the Metamores. Yeah, this has definitely got to be ahistorical right now. All right, it's about time we checked in on the French. And the 41, that's not bad. Field hospitals, it's almost 1940. It's almost there. We're almost there. 1940, which means... Let's go and do this one. Improved computing machine. Because I, I was late on the last one. We might as well be early on this other one. And let's go and do, go to Paris. Negotiate a trade deal. Cost us political power, but we get 0.9 a day. That's okay. The UK exerts influence in Turkey. Who do the British think they are? 
Well, they think they're British. Yeah, we definitely need more motorized. We definitely need more rubber. They're actually building up Attica, so we can build up radar there. Nice, nice, nice. Because this will help us with our defenses, hopefully, at least. Keep building this up. We can actually get more resources that way, too, which is very good. However... We're done with that there. I do want to build up some more forts eventually. Which, do we get forts through our focus tree eventually? That seems like it would be a smart thing to have. The Hellenic Army, Land Auction Engineers, Fall of Warsaw, the backbone of the army. You get 0.2% more population, I'll see war, we get more recovery rate, and land auction as well. Recon Company 1, 2, and 3, and Support Artillery versus Embrace Modern Warfare, Light Tanks and Motorized, or Hellenic Armored Corps, Light and Medium Tanks, or Mechanized Models. There's no point in using Mechanized if you're not going to use tanks, so... I'm thinking we'll probably go with the backbone of the army. Atlanta Mountains. Interesting. That looks pretty good. And modern cataphracts. Cataphracts. Which I don't think should be really applied. Happy 1940, though. Because you look at this. You have to have Byzantium restored. Why? What? Why can't we have, like, modern, like, armored communist cataphracts or something? The French... Oh, come on. You decided not to invest. If you want to read that, go right ahead. We lost stability. We got our political power back, though. Oh, that sucks. Hellenic Navy. The same thing with this. Tema Nauticon. You have to have restored Byzantium and this double headed Aquila. They've. Those at Paradox really have a, a Byzantium bon, boner or something. Oh, there goes Portugal as well. I mean, can't you give, like, the communists something cool or even, like, was it Republicanism or something or democ democracy people or fascist something cool? Why do, you have to, why do you have to form just for Byzantium? That's not cool. Regardless, whatever. It doesn't look like we get anything important for like forts so we have to build our own forts if we want to british docking rights i would like to 10 talks with the presidium so and this is only 35 days the key to the entente winning the middle eastern front during the great war was their access to our greek ports we live in a time where it is increasingly looking like the mediterranean will be the powder keg that sets europe on fire and the british will surely benefit from having access to our ports once again okay we have to give up our ports to those guys so be it let's go and do this again real quick since we probably still have pretty high relations with them yeah at 90, that's not bad. So, let's do it one more time. If not, whatever. We'll do it again later on, just because, obviously, they're both, we're all communists. So, cool. Promises of peace. Rebuild the Salamis. With German assistance, it has become possible to rebuild our old battle cruiser, the Salamis, which we short-sightedly scrapped in 32. Luckily, we still have enough of the remnants of the old hull, so we would not be starting totally from scratch. Early heavy battleship hull. Or just hull. Huh. Improved radar. Nice. Happy 1940, like I said earlier. We got that going. Even Greek nuclear research. Don't mind if we do. Keep training if you need it. That'd be good. Getting enough naval XP is always important. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then next up, we'll get the guy with more political power because we can. And there goes the Metamores. Extraction. And that is a massive border with the Soviet Union in February 3rd, 1940. Cool. That's not bad. We could get better planes. Let's go and do that. Because we are making a few fighters. And we don't want to make garbage. Or outdated stuff. It's not garbage at all. It's just outdated stuff. Infantry offensives. Let's grab some armored operations. And we're basically waiting for the Germans to knock out our door. Anti-German stratagems. At war with the Germans completed the Hellenic Army, Air Force, Navy. We get an attack and defense bonus against them. That's not bad. We probably have to do that, especially since Italy will want to fight us, so. Hmm. British docking rights. And of course, they, they decided not to invest. Thanks for wasting my time. Appeal to the Soviet Union, though. We do not turn to the Soviet Union lightly. We will be walking into the den of a wolf, ready to pick us apart, or pick our bones apart, if we are not cautious. But it is surely better for us to go get them than it is for them to come get us, so. We'll see what we can do with them. Oh, political power. Don't mind if we do. Thank you. Even more communist support. But now we get 1.36%. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. We're going to grab more defense immediately, because I'm all about that defense right now. Motorized is still garbage, but you know what? We can still work with that. Anti-air is next. We have enough for the infantry. Artillery-wise, well, we probably don't have enough to switch. Save even more manpower if we can. No, we do not, which is disappointing. We lose, actually, defense, but we get a little more breakthrough, but you do end up getting 24 more soft attack, a little bit less HP, a little bit less organization. Overall, it's pretty much worth it. Artillery-wise, you know what? Boots it up to three. 
lower this by one, because we already have enough. That'll be good. We have enough anti-air. You know, that's really cheap. That's, and for the effects it gives you, anti-air 19, because we are a minor nation that does not have enough stats to do everything that we want. We can only have 24 divisions, not bad. And I don't know why Italy does get Slovenia from Yugoslavia, but... Surrender at Macedonia. Oh, wait, they're in their Belgrade Pact. They didn't invite me. Why? Bulgaria gets it? No longer is a... Why are they giving everything up? Italy's joined the Axis. And now they're going... Nazi-like. Setting the Tripartite Act? I guess they kind of have to. I guess, no, not technically they don't have to. Peter the Second. Oh my goodness. Why? Oh, manufactured sh ship parts? More more dockyards than six. Offer ship parts in exchange for investment. Rebuke them. Oh, national showcase for British investors. Attend national showcase. Ooh, maybe we could try that. Oh, let's recommission the American battleship, though. Just because we can. <sighs> Oof. I mean, yeah, maybe someday we'll make those. That day is not coming any day soon, though. We could improve worker conditions. We don't get any more weekly stability. Which I kind of wish we did. But Marxist Priest is okay. Yeah, I suppose we... Let's get some more stability now. It's fine. And there... We start off with going to the Benelux. Good luck, everyone. The Axis is looking pretty formidable. Italy, a massive Germany. We have the Balkan on top too here down here. Bulgaria is looking pretty thick. Look at that. You know, if they had, Do they do have Dobrugia, but if they had this tile, whatever this is, oh, there goes Shanxi. If they had, oh, why can't you divide this up more? But it would look more like World War One Bulgaria if they add this as well. Whatever. Go to the Soviet Union. Great. All right, so. I'll I hinted at this earlier, or really talked about it. So which one did you guys recommend that we should go? With prepare for this one, or tell us all this line? Tell us Stalinist line. Well, overall, there was more support for, way more support for, tell the Stalinist line just because people want to see what happens. So let's do that one. We owe our revolution to those great minds in the Soviet Union. Were it not for their contributions, we might never have secured power in Greece. We stand in solidarity with our comrades in Moscow. We give more war support, which is great. Infrastructure construction speed, even though we lose 5% political power, but that's okay, since we have this guy. And it does take 70 days. Sage and incident. Ooh, we are running out of manpower, which is not ideal. But can we get... Ooh, look at that. 100% infrastructure is nice. Epirus. I'm actually going to build this at the second at the same time, basically, because we need to be fuel-wise relatively independent as well as having enough rubber. But we have a buttload of aluminum. That is nice. So these infantry divisions, the only thing that we need to change is to throw a little bit more artillery on them, sprinkle a little bit more on them. That would be great. As well as, of course, more motorized. So I don't want to lower this too much more. We can do that one for now. Get a little bit more artillery. Depends on one communist... Are they... Taking them out one by one. And Communist China doing the common turn, which means that Japanese are going to be fighting the common turn, which is not good since we're trying to tow the Stalinist line. We'll join them in the war. God dang it. Uh. Oh, and Iberia is just a god awful mess. Oh my goodness. So, you guys, looking at great. These guys need a little work. Cavalry? I'm actually going to go ahead and duplicate this for now. Gar. These people garrisons with two R's and one. Oh, that's, uh, I think it's two R's. I don't remember. By the time I'm recording this, my mind is... I, I'm slipping. Mentally, I am slipping. So, that's okay for now. We want to make these guys a little bit stronger. We definitely need engineers on these guys. But let's save our... We'll save our army XP for now. Just a little bit. Oh, yeah. I do want to do this one. Oh, trade manufacturer push parts. Oh, talk, and talk to the Presidium. Oh, yeah. Invest back into neglected Siberian provinces. Quick India. But Greek officials propose buyback scheme where they invest into our neglected Siberian regions. What does that do? Huh. I mean, we could do that, but we've got some other things to do around here, right? Marxist priest would be good eventually. Not necessary yet. Maybe necessary right now immediately. Oh, God. Italy's going to want to go to war with us. 
It's 1940, what, what do you expect, you know? Grab some more, uh... Oh, actually, hmm... Let's get level 3, yeah, more static anti-air. Alright, we're done building all that stuff up. At least a level 1 line along here. You know what, just do level 2. I have no idea where they're going to be attacking us from, so... I'm a little worried now. Is this part of their focus? Probably. They're not manually just flying against us. Hey, but we do have almost enough divisions to guard every port, as well as every major victory point here as well. So, that could prove to be very, very valuable in the future. Of course, we don't have that much manpower, so we've got to save our political power up. God dang it. Just stole the, totally the stall on this line. Get some more defense. That's good stuff. 1940. Grab some more soft attack immediately. And China join the... China joined the common turn. That is not bad, actually. Oh, this China. Oh, they've doubled China. Oh, they went up to Mao. Mao no longer exists. And neither does Chiang Kai-shek. Yeah, we're definitely on a historical. That kind of sucks. And they're fighting the Japanese. Well, then. This is going to turn out to be a very interesting uh, world we live in. Very interesting. But regardless, I guess... We will end the episode once we get through this next focus. We'll do that. Because this has gone on to be a very long video. I'm used to making long videos now for Hoi 4, so... We've got a week left. Yeah, this one's next. After Fighter 2s... We're going to grab artillery. Second Ljubljana Award. Germans are demanding that we hand over the land to the Bulgarian lackeys. Oh, go screw yourself. Oh, crap. They called my bluff. Okay, well then. Okay, I get it. I don't want to do that. I get it. I get it. Boom, boom. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. Cool. I guess we'll start there next time. So, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. It's going to be very, very interesting doing this. But regardless, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. When worry might join the allies or the commenter, I don't know. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day, though.